Our segment three this evening, the Ballet Manufacturing Company, which makes slot machines and various other coin machines. Las Vegas soon will have no monopoly on legal gambling in this country because casinos are about to open in Atlantic City and maybe thereafter in other states. One of the big worries about this is how to keep out organized crime. And so law enforcement agencies have been looking closely at a number of companies in the legal gambling business, including Belly. Here's Brian Ross. This is the Belly Manufacturing Company, the world's largest manufacturer of slot machines. Belly stock is heavily traded on the New York Stock Exchange. Belly has had a spectacular growth in the last 15 years based on its ability to put Belly machines in almost every major casino. This is Gerardo Catina, an important figure in organized crime in this country, and one of Bally's original investors as a secret partner. Federal and state investigators reported to the governor of Florida last year that Catina is the acting boss of the Genovese Mafia family, one of the most ruthless criminal organizations in the country. When Catina's investment in Bally was revealed, he quickly sold his stock. But Catina's former partners kept control of Bally. One of them is William O'Donnell, the president of Bally. He says Katina had nothing to do with Bally's success and that Bally no longer has any ties to the mob. Mr. Katina never even so much as picked up a telephone and asked me how business was. Have you made any efforts uh, in the last few years to determine if Katina has any so-called hidden interest in the company? Yes, I have. And what have your investigations shown? Absolutely nothing. No interest at all? No, no interest whatsoever. But law enforcement investigators in a number of states are asking questions about Katina's relationship with this man, Sam Klein, one of the original investors with Katina in Bally and still one of Bally's biggest stockholders. Could you describe your relationship with uh, Jerry Katina? I have no relationship with Jerry Katina. Is he a business associate? None whatsoever and never has been, and that's just like asking me, why did, did I kill Jack Kennedy or did I know about it? You're in, uh, causing an innuendo that has no basis in fact to establish something you want to do. Uh, are you, well, you have a social relationship with Mr. Katina? I don't see Mr. Katina except by chance. But investigators say more than chance is involved in the Klein-Katina relationship. Last year, the Nevada Gaming Control Commission cracked down on Bally because of Klein's relationship with Katina and ordered Klein to quit as a Bally company director, ordered Klein to sell all of his Bally stock by 1980, and fined Klein $50,000. The Nevada action was based in part on this intelligence report from the police in Boca Raton, Florida, where both Klein and Katina live. The report states that Katina and Klein were in the same golf foursome and that Mr. Katina was the guest of Mr. Klein. Klein says the Nevada action was unfair, but he has paid the $50,000 fine and quit the company's board of directors, although he remains very close to the people who run Bally. Do you continue to discuss uh, matters of Bally business uh, with Sam Klein? I talk to Sam Klein from time to time, yes. Does that violate the spirit of the Nevada game? No, no, know? it does not. No, it does not. NBC News has learned that at the same time Klein is under order from Nevada to sell all his Bally stock, the Securities and Exchange Commission is investigating Klein and Bally. The SEC wants to know more about large loans Klein made to an associate whether Klein has tried to gain a hidden interest in Bally with the loans. In a confidential memorandum, SEC investigators reported, these loans have ranged from $600,000 to $1,400,000. Most of the proceeds of these loans have been used to purchase Bally stock. The associate who received the Klein loans denies any wrongdoing and says he has since repaid Klein all he owes him. Klein has refused to talk with NBC News about the SEC investigation. In 1975, the New York Stock Exchange permitted Bally stock to be traded publicly, and it zoomed. In 15 months, Bally stock more than tripled in value. Bally says the fact that its stock is traded here is evidence the company has a clean record. And the company has plans to expand its gambling empire. Bally says it will build a $50 million hotel and casino on the boardwalk in Atlantic City, New Jersey where voters last year approved legalized gambling. 
and the company continues to grow and grow, even though there are still questions whether there are ties between Bally and the reputed boss of a mafia family. One of its biggest stockholders has been ordered to get out of Bally altogether. The company is now under investigation in Florida, Nevada, Connecticut, and by the federal government. Bally says all of its problems are in the past, and that the company now is one of the big success stories in American business. Brian Ross, NBC News.